bunkering system is one of the critical operation so we will take a look regarding about the ship's refueling and other causes of the past accident so one of the major problem of the CPRS is the common accident is the human error is it's the negligence their jobs and rents responsibilities during bunker operations if you notice there is an oil spill on the sea which will cause the revocation of the license of the master as well as the cleaner and loss of jump so what are the requirements and operations as well the procedure during the bunker operations in this video we will learn the safety precaution and the safety operation of the ships as well the bunker safe so what are the types of oil that is commonly that is supplied by barts to the vessel one is the AB fuel oil so the AB, AB fuel composed of high sulfur and low sulfur fuel oil as well the diesel oil there is also high uh, high sulfur and low sulfur so next of the main engine as well the auxiliary engine so next during bunkering you no know, it is a good practice for the engineering that uh, to carry it out of bunkering during in a coverage area because it is a safety you know, during bunkering so in bunkering not only that will supply at sea by means of barge it will also supply by truck inland especially if you supply diesel oil or almost say for example of 20 tons to be dropped in the vessel so who is the overall in charge naturally the chicken is the overall in charge in the new department is the one that uh, calculate which is uh, the fuel to be filled up he is also preparing uh, regarding about the bunkering plans and order to his junior third engineer regarding about the preparation and set up of the piping line as well the opening of the closing bulb to its designated fuel oil distribution tank so during bunkering there is also discussion the safety meeting between the staff between also the master as well the tripliner and together with the supplier and together with the junior officers to avoid marine pollution to avoid accident in any cases that will cause problem of the vessel so during the bunkering it's engineering practice that we have to put the scupper plug all over the vessel to avoid in case of pollution there is no leaking of fuel will drop on the ocean so it, it also to be avoided regarding about the no smoking and also naked light and no cell phone near the bunker station and also uh, no sleeping during bunker operations so communication between the deck and department as well the engine departments as a very essential as well into the bunker supplier so during bunkering there is what you call the posting also of the red flag red light that is, is to be put in mass head no? it is indication of the bunker operations so during uh, installing of the 
bunker host. Take note that uh, the careful must be checked for leaking as well it's uh, tightening. So during bunkering, the chip miner will get also the inlet temperature in the manifold from the chip supplier as well the based on the BDN or what you call the bunker delivery note, their density as well the temperature and the capacity of the bunker that will be supplied to the vessel. So during bunkering, take note that you will be open slowly or gradually and will introduce to your piping line and uh, to be dropped to each individual tank slowly and smoothly so take note there is what we call the temperature 31 degrees uh, based on the control room is an indication it almost the same with the inlet manifold so after the bunkerings then we will be called the supplier that there is what we call the uh, general practice that we're going to blow the airline and make sure that all uh, sounding cup and pen uh, to be clear and to be blown by the supplier here okay uh, after that after the bunkering then the chip cleaner will compute and calculate the short if there is what we call the short if during the bunkerings then it, that's time you can complain to the supplier regarding about the dispute so based on its uh, bunker uh, survey or what they call the bunkering uh, calculation if there's something wrong between the supplier then you can arrange it correctly after that these uh, sample bottles to be sent to the supplier and one bottle to be sent to for laboratory analysis and one bottle will be used for marble and one bottle will retain on the vessels so after sending of the fuel analysis for laboratory for fuel analysis then the the accredited laboratory from the visual laboratory from the Singapore or the United States will return back message to the master by means of email and the master will inform to the chip miner if this OL is to be used and for the main engine as well to the auxiliary engine and also to the auxiliary boiler so after that, the chip miner will record all the receiving fuel consumption to the OWL record book, the date of uh, bunkering, the density and the fuel OWL temperature as well the time of bunkering. 